Can Mojo run Python? Yes, no doubt. But how? In this video, I will tell you how you can use Python packages like NumPy in Mojo and how you can run and use your Python file in Mojo. Simple. This video is about the integration of Python in Mojo. Mojo runs Python code using the standard Python interpreter CPython, so your existing Python code doesn't need to change. Mojo allows you to import Python modules, call Python functions, and interact with Python objects from Mojo code. Now, let's switch to Visual Studio Code. Create a file named main.mojo. In the first line, we import Python from the Python module of Mojo. Then, we define a function named useArray. If you're using it inside an fn function, you need to either handle errors using a try except clause, or add the raises keyword to the function signature. The raises keyword is equivalent to a try except block. We import the numpy module and then use the array method of numpy. NP is the instance of numpy. You can see from the comments that it is equivalent to import numpy as NP. Now, you can use it just like in Python. Finally, we print the array. Now let's write our main method and then call the useArray method we defined. As the useArray method can raise an exception, we use the raises keyword. This error may occur if NumPy is not installed. We can simply install it with pip and now it will work. You can also use try accept instead of raises, and in this way, we can print the exception as well. This is how you can use Python packages in Mojo. Now I'll show you how you can run your local Python file in Mojo. Let's create a file named mypython.mojo. Imagine you need a bunch of random numbers for something you're working on. This function helps you out. You tell it how many random numbers you want and what the starting point should be for these numbers. Define a generate random values function, which takes size and base. This says, hey, I'm defining a function called gen random values, and it needs two things to work. How many random numbers you want, size, and where you want to start, base. Then we call the rand method of random. This line is where the magic happens. It creates a square grid of random numbers. The size you give tells it how big the grid should be. Each spot in the grid gets filled with a random number between 0 and 1. Lastly, there is a return statement which says, OK, here's your grid of random numbers. But wait, you wanted them to start somewhere other than 0, right? So it takes each random number in the grid and adds the base value you gave it. This way, the numbers start where you want them to start. Now, let's see how we call this in Mojo. First, we call the add to path method to locate your Python file. Both absolute and relative paths will work. Assuming the file is in the same folder where I am now, I'll write. Then, we import the located module using the import module method. It returns a list which contains two lists, each with two members. We will extract the values with nested for loops. And here are the random values generated. As shown above, you can call out to Python modules from Mojo. However, there's currently no way to do the reverse import Mojo modules from Python, or call Mojo functions from Python. This may present a challenge for using certain modules. For example, many UI frameworks have a main event loop that makes callbacks to user-defined code in response to UI events. This is sometimes called an inversion of control pattern. Now we update the Python file. This is the app class, which will make a window with a button using TK interlibrary of Python. When button is clicked, self.click method is run, setting the value of self.click to true.
Now we import this app in our main Mojo function. You can write dot and then class name after the import module method, otherwise the complete module will be imported. Now we define the button clicked method and run it. Now I want to bring your focus that instead of the Python module calling the tkinner main loop and method, the Mojo code calls the update method in a loop and checks the clicked attribute after each update. Since Python can't directly call Mojo functions or import Mojo modules or Python can't call back into Mojo, the approach here is to have Mojo drive the event loop and pull for updates from the Python module. Please note that for standard Python modules like NumPy, currently, you cannot import individual members, such as a single Python class or function. You must import the whole Python module and then access members through the module name. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.